Welcome to this video review. As you can see, I have a Swarovski CL Pocket 10 by 25 uh, small pocket binoculars uh, in front of me, and I'm going to talk about their features, their quality, their specification, and do a short review about them. Especially at the end, at the end, I'll go through the positives and negatives of the product. So. If I start with Swarovski, Swarovski, as you know, is one of the oldest producer of uh, binoculars and optics in, in Austria. Kales is the only one who is older than them. So they started just uh, a little bit after the Second World War. They're based in Tyrol, uh, in Abzam, and they're the biggest name in the, in the whole industry of sport optics. Mm. The pocket binoculars even though they produce pocket binoculars for all of those nature enthusiasts and uh, travelers and hikers and so on, you can immediately see from the styling and from everything that uh, they are in essence a company which produces uh, hunting optics. This particular model CL um, pocket was introduced in 2013. You can see a little bit from the styling, so the styling on Swarovski changed in the last seven years a bit even though these binoculars are still nice, but you can see some details that they come from the previous generation. Even though these are pocket binoculars, the saying or the motto of Swarovski is 100% binoculars. So they offer everything what their bigger counterparts would. The housing itself is made out of metal. I, I have to be honest, I'm not sure if this is magnesium or it's aluminum. Probably aluminum because, or magnesium, who knows. Uh, well, it's metal, it's really well made, it's double hinge, so you can see, you can fold the binoculars really tightly together. And with dual hinge design you can also ha uh, have a wide variety of distances between interpupillaries, uh, inter so interpupillary distances. Um, everything else is covered in green rubber, Swarovski. Uh, standard color I would say and they're fully waterproofed down to 4 meters filled with nitrogen they work from minus 25 to plus 55 so you're able to use them everywhere and they're approximately 11 centimeters in height and 10 centimeters in width if you see them correctly they're almost like square dimension uh, they come with a 10 years warranty made in Austria and normally uh, they weighed around 350 grams. Like I said in the beginning, all the details gives you, give you a nice feeling that they, they keep their promise about 100% binoculars. So even though they are really, really small, there are no compromises in build quality, there is no compromises in optical quality. And this brings me to the next set of features. Let's talk about the eyepieces. It's like I would say minimized eyepieces from the EL or SLC binoculars. Again, 100% binoculars, even the eyepieces, they feature only two positions, but they have soft rubber on top and they're really nicely made, high quality touch and feel to them. Uh, the eye relief is 17 millimeters, which is astonishing for a pocket binoculars. If you look at other pocket binoculars uh, reviews on our YouTube channel, you will see that mostly they feature between 12 and 14 millimeters of eye relief. With 17, they are absolute champions. We also have to be honest that they compete with the price of 760 euros only to Leica and size, no one else. So only the top premium quality. And those uh, competitors also have a little bit longer eye reliefs than normal. Uh, the focusing is central, it's nicely made so you are able to use both fingers on top and below. It's really smooth, gentle I would say, and almost two turns. So it's uh, a little bit slower than expected for this type of binoculars, but this is probably the reason because Swarovski usually produces hunting binoculars and slow focus is uh, best suitable for hunting applications. For bird watching, a little bit faster focuses are usually used, even though for this binoculars, I think the quality of focusing itself, uh, it becomes less important if the focus is faster, it's slow, honestly speaking. 
it is really really soft so even if if it's um, a little bit slower you're able to turn it faster because it's so soft next if I talk about the optical performance as you can see 10 times magnification 25 millimeter objective lenses so this is really funny because uh, Swarovski even on their 8 time model they also use 25 millimeter objective lenses where others usually use 20 uh, Schmidt and Peham prism inside really compact really small uh, and they can fit in any pocket they do provide 98 meters of field of view and 88 percent of light transmission rate uh, Swarovski gives this information which others usually don't all the lenses are normally fully multi-coated with Swaro Bright and all other technologies and I think when we talk about the optical performance there the saying 100% binoculars really shines because majority of pocket binoculars will always have, always have really big compromises when it comes to optical performance not with this CL pocket the optics is superb they are really 100% binoculars even though they are really, they are really small uh, together with the binoculars you're getting a cleaning cloth you're getting a carrying strap uh, this is again a small I would say rain cover for the the whole binoculars really 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 nice if, uh, if it starts to rain you can cover them completely even though they are 100% uh, waterproof you get a manual many different languages 10 years warranty this is something again this, this is the warranty card at the end of the manual uh, with 10 years warranty this is I would say uh, for pocket binoculars quite rare carrying strap for the carrying, uh, carrying bag and really nice carrying bag immediately when you see the carrying bag you see Swarovski even if, if, even if the, the logo would be ha uh, hidden you would still know this is made by Swarovski okay we came to the end of this review where I do my standard sweet and sour and I go through the positives and what I really like about the binoculars and then I go through the where it's room for improvement so first of all what is really positive about these binoculars is the optics the optics is superb it's 100% binoculars like they say um, really you're shocked especially if you're trying other pocket binoculars before and then you try this one you're shocked how good the optics is I also like the fact that they're made in Austria this is still means something they are not made somewhere in Asia or somewhere where they cut costs but they're really made in Austria and everything is on the same level of quality like with their big brothers I like the eyepieces so even this are even if these are pocket binoculars the eyepieces is like like on an SLC or an EL really perfect uh, size and weight I like how compact they are you can really put them in any pocket they're really small uh, and the build quality fit and finish also the diopter setting which is done here it's really nice and precise and well made it goes from minus four to plus four I think or even minus five to plus five yeah minus five to plus five really a lot 17 millimeters eye relief astonishing that they were able to achieve this on a, on a on a pocket binoculars so there are really no compromises when it comes to optical performance now we come to what could have been done better so first of all these are one of the greatest pocket binoculars I could say of all time especially in terms of optical performance but on the other side they cost 760 euros so they cost I would say a normal price for majority of full-size binoculars made in Japan even some made in Europe maybe I would say that you can find a full-sized German binocular for 760 euros okay so the price is really really steep uh, the field of view for the pocket binoculars is great but still for 760 euros that is the only point where in terms of optical performance more could be done because when we talk about the brightness when we talk about the light transmission rate when we talk about the the resolution in the center of the image or at the edge of the image everything is almost perfect especially for this type of binoculars 
well, the field of view could have been done a little bit better. Uh, I also think that the carrying strap, well, they're really light, but it could have been done a little bit better. But apart from that, if you're searching for a pocket binocular, really light, which you can put in any pocket, like the name says, with a superb optical performance, this is the right choice for you. Because it would be hard to find any other binoculars that would outperform this CL pocket in terms of optical performance. They are normally, because of that, they are not cheap, but you're getting a no compromise pocket binoculars. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the review. Please check our other reviews. If you have any additional questions, please send us an email or check our webpage.